Hello loves, welcome to Weekday Wanderlust. Weekday Wanderlust serves you bite-sized tips for mindset shifts and business management strategies to get your life in alignment with the travel lifestyle that you want to live. This week we're talking about how to find your strengths and use them. And today we're talking about do your weaknesses matter? So you can be successful based on what you know and do rather than trying to be good at things you're not naturally good at. However, that doesn't mean you can't improve or develop weaknesses or even delegate them to someone else. It just means that you don't need to give your weaknesses as much attention as you may think. You can instead focus on working from a place of strength. So number one is to understand the truth. Make choices based on what is, not what might be or what you think it will be in a few months. Instead, make your choices based on now. Now, what are your strengths? Now, what can you do? This gives you an opportunity to realize what you can't do or that your weaknesses really don't matter. Success is based on who you are and what you know right now, not what you don't know. For example, if a student who wants to be a surgeon thought that they should know everything about that profession before starting school, they would fail on day one. Instead, a smart student will focus on what they know and their skill set. Um, perhaps a medical student is good at memorization, and they'll use that skill to succeed at school. So they know what they're capable of learning and how they learn best. They don't focus on what they don't know yet or what they don't have yet. They focus on taking steps towards a future that they know they want, being a surgeon. Number two. Center your activity on what you can do. So let's go with the surgeon example, for instance. Rather than focusing on how the side of internal organs make you throw up, focus on how much you really want to make your patients feel better. Um, many people are able to overcome fear of heights to become a pilot, fear of water to learn how to dive, even their fear of speaking to facilitate groups. It happens all the time. You can do it too. Focusing on your strengths doesn't mean that you have permission to give up if something's hard or if you have a roadblock. It just means that you have to find a way around the hard part to the good part. For example, if you want to be a romance writer, but you work five days a week, 10 hours a day, you may want to write one hour a day on a Sunday until you're done with your book to see success. But the point is it can be done if you have a plan. Focus on can, not can't. Tip number three, you can do more than you think you can. Remember, you can always push yourself just a little farther than you think you're capable of going. One more push-up, one more page of a book, one more step on your walk. It can always be done. To prove this is the truth and that this is fact, so many people do so much with so little. I took a little time to search the internet for some examples of people who have accomplished amazing feats due to talent, skill, and their love of what they do. So take Amanda Mercer, um, a mom who spent years training to swim in a relay race across the English Channel in order to bring awareness to Lou Gehrig's disease. She came down with breast cancer during the training and still didn't stop. She met her goal just a couple of weeks after finishing her last round of chemo. She broke the world record by four minutes. And how about Rick Hone? He has cerebral palsy, but he's a motivational speaker from California. And he's also an accomplished artist, a pastor, he's a teacher and an author. And he doesn't allow his limited mobility to stop him from achieving much in life that even the most able-bodied person would be proud to accomplish. So if there's anything that you really want to succeed at doing, honing in on and trusting your natural talents and abilities can make it happen. Don't let lack of training, time, or anything else get in your way. You can push yourself just a little bit and make it happen if you really love it and really want to. Tip number four, don't make excuses. I know it can be easy to fall into the excuse territory. Life does give you lemons, but sometimes you need to find a way to leverage other people's talents where yours is lacking. You may need to work just a little harder than someone else to get the same results, but given time and effort, you can take your talents and turn them into great success. It's your choice. 
Now, there are, of course, some weaknesses that you should work on. For example, if you're scared of water, but you really want to be in a triathlon, you're going to have to overcome that mental block. But sometimes your weaknesses won't necessarily become an obstacle for you. If you aren't good with computers, but this doesn't necessarily affect your ability to become a brain surgeon, then it doesn't matter. The fact is that most of the time when you focus on capitalizing on your strengths over worrying about your weaknesses, you will experience success so much faster. Place your trust in what you can do, know, or are capable of learning, but first, but first focus on what you know right now to seek real success in the present. Start by avoiding excuses. And if you become the type of person who takes responsibility for your actions, then you can become the type of person who chooses success over excuses. Learn to believe in yourself and your abilities to succeed. The way you develop belief in yourself is much the same as you develop belief in others through experiences you have. The more you actually experience feelings of success, the more you believe that you can keep experiencing it. Even if you're scared, start small. Take the time to visualize how success looks rather than focusing on any roadblocks getting in your way. Most roadblocks are mental anyway. You can overcome them in order to get to the point of success if you stay focused on your strengths instead of your weaknesses. The main trick is to just get started and then everything else will begin to fall into place. So your four tips for today is understand the truth Center your activity on what you can do versus what you can't do. Realize that you can do more than you think you can and stay away from excuses. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you tomorrow for another edition of Weekday Wanderlust.